Praise God, my brothers and sisters. Good morning, wherever you are. It is a very wonderful day that, that, that the Lord has made. We rejoice and be glad in it. And today, my dear friends, I'm talking about something very simple and something we can all connect to, which is run your own race. Run your own race. I'm saying this because it's very easy in life to run someone else's race. I know in my life, you know, it's easy to look at someone else and say, um, I'm, you know, I grew up with someone so... And now they are here and I am not, you know. Or this person began ministry a few years after I had begun and they are ahead of me. Or these people have children, I don't have children. It's very easy to look at the other person and not look at what God is doing for your own race. I read this from Romans 12, 6. It says, we have different gifts based on the grace that was given to us. So if your gift is prophecy, use your gift in proportion to your faith. My dear friends, it is important to note this because at times we are always looking at other people and comparing ourselves to other people. In fact, another version says that we are all of different gifts that have been given unto us. Let us not compare ourselves with others, but in agreement with the reasonableness of our faith. It's good to note that you can be running your race and you look at someone else. And as a Christian, remember the grace over your life is unique and is specific to you. There is no universal grace for life. Grace is specific to who you are and how God made you. And it's important to understand that you are where you are because God made you the way you are. And don't look at your, someone else's children and think that if this person's children uh, are better off or I'm failing as a parent or Nani have built a house already. I've now, I'm now in my mid-40s and all these things. We always want to look at what's happening on the other side. But run your own grace. Run your own grace. Each of us have different gifts according to the grace that has been given to us. God made you the way you are to fulfill whatever he wants to fulfill in, in your life. But this is impossible to understand if you begin to desire what the other person has. If you desire my marriage, you don't know the grace that I have for my marriage. But if you have the same marriage as mine, maybe it will drive you crazy. You might desire my calling. Yet, if you are put in my situation, the grace in your life cannot handle it. I may desire the house that you have, but I don't understand that the grace required to believe for that house is not within my capacity. My dear friends, don't look the other side. If you have gone through a divorce, you have gone through heartbreak, you have gone through loss, whatever you've gone through, don't look at the next person and wish and think for a moment, if only I was like so and so. If only I had faith like so and so. At Kamani Kikona Iman Yanani, I would have been better. If I was as prayerful as my mother, if I was as prayerful as Victor, if I was as prayerful as so and so, no. There's a grace God has put in your life that is unique to you. And I want you to believe God that that is what aligns your destiny. Don't compare yourself. Believe con con with conviction that you are where you need to be at this point in time, that you're within the plans of God. And that God has already done whatever needs to be done in your life. So let us pray that you may run your own race. Because on your lane is where your blessings are. My blessings are not yours. Your sister's blessings are not yours. Your father's blessings are not, are not yours. Your blessings are yours. And remember that all through. Let us pray. Dear God Almighty, we are grateful, Lord, for your goodness. Father, I pray today that, Lord, we may appreciate who we are in you. I pray, Father, we may appreciate how you made us and how you created us, Lord. I pray that, Father, you give us the grace to appreciate, Lord, how we were built. And that, Father, how you made us, Lord, in your image and in your likeness. But the grace of our life is unique and perfect in your eyes, O Lord. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray. But, the Lord, give us the grace to run our own race. According to the faith that you've given unto us. According to the gifts you've put in our lives. May we see the goodness that is on our path. May we not be drawn to what is happening on, on, on the other side, Lord. Let us be focused because, Father, you've prepared good things for us. Every good and perfect gift that, Lord, is for our lives, you've already said it before us. May we have the grace to believe you for it, that even when it becomes difficult, even when it's hard, may we focus that, Lord, we are running our own race and the plans you have for our lives are good to bring us to a good and a wonderful end. In Jesus' name, we pray thanksgiving. Amen. Stay blessed. See you again next time, same time.